Hello, and welcome to our guitar primer. By the end of this short video, you will know every physical part of the guitar, the names of the strings, and how to read tablature. So let's hop in. These are two acoustic guitars. One is a steel string acoustic, and one is a classical guitar. They contain the same exact parts, they just use different strings from one another. First, let's look at the neck of the guitar. On the neck is something called the fingerboard or fretboard. Frets are the metal pieces going across the fingerboard that mark where the notes are, almost like a map. There are usually around 20 frets total. Next is the body of the guitar. This is where the sound resonates from. The body is sculpted to fit on your lap when you play. On the body is something called the bridge. The bridge is where we anchor our strings. We pull the strings through, up the neck, and onto the headstock of the guitar. The headstock of the guitar is where we wind our strings up to tension and tune them. On the headstock are tuners responsible for, well, tuning. Last, but certainly not least, are the six strings. They vary in thickness and in pitch. Each string has a letter name corresponding with a musical note. The string names from lowest pitch to highest pitch are E, A, D, G, B, and E again. To help you remember the string names, there is a clever mnemonic or sentence that goes Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. Once again, Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye. By Eddie. You might notice there are two E's. One is referred to as low E, which is the one lowest in pitch, and the other is referred to as high E, which is the highest in pitch. Now, moving on to tablature. Tablature, or tab as it is often referred to, consists of six horizontal lines. These horizontal lines represent the six strings of the guitar. The important thing to note is that it is written as if the guitar is on its side this way. So the low E is on the bottom and the high E is on the top. When we put a number on the low E line in this example, we are referring to which fret you must press. What? Let's go back to the fretboard. Remember how we said there are around 20 frets? They are numbered from 1 to 20 starting at the headstock. So here you have fret 1, then fret 2, then fret 3, and so on. So when you see a number 4 on the lowest line, that is saying to press the low E string on the 4th fret and give it a pluck. Easy peasy? Hopefully now you feel primed and ready for your first guitar lesson. Thank you and see you later.